Hello and welcome to another Wednesday on The Den. My name is Aaron and I'm coming to you from Manchester, England. And today we're doing crafting your pants. Because today's crafty arty thing isn't overly interesting or hard, but you know, it's a bit of a craze at the moment. So I've tried to make it a little bit more interesting by being basically starkers and just in my pants and showing all my belly rolls and god knows whatever else. So today we're going to learn how to make loom bands. Now then, this is a little bit of a craze that's just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Basically loom bands are tiny little rubber bands which you loom together to create bracelets, necklaces and god knows whatever else. And they're stretchy. Basically they are the friendship bands of the 2014. Now there's lots of ways to be able to do this. What I'm going to show you is how to do a basic chevron kind of pattern. Now, to be fair, all you really need to do is go up to one of your little corner shops or retailers on the street that has a wagon or wherever you know that you can get loom bands from and you need to buy a bag of rubber bands. Now for us they're normally about a pound and you can get them in block colours, you can get them in mixed colours, you can have them in rainbows, you can get loads of neon ones, fluorescent ones, God knows whatever else, you can probably get Christmas tree dancing ones now. Now this bag comes with everything that you need. So it'll come with the bands, a little bag of S-clips, um, these are the things that you need to actually attach both ends of your band together so that it makes a bracelet, wristband, headband, whatever. And you'll also get a pick. Uh, now this is quite important. If you're trying to pick it with your fingers it gets really fiddly and this really helps. Now technically that's all you need. Uh, bands, S-clips and a pick. Because you can do this on your fingers. Um, it does get a bit fiddly though. Now a lot of the packs also come with instructions. But today I am your instructions and yeah. Now if you want to make the more complicated and thicker patterns you are going to need a pick board which is something that looks like this uh, or several of them so that you can stream them across or longer um, just depends on how many bands and how much detail is going in there. The other thing that you might sometimes get is one of these which kind of looks like a cotton dolly. This is basically what your two fingers are going to do um, and this actually makes it quicker and easier than doing it on your fingers because it's a bit fiddly uh, and you can't put it down whereas you can put this down and come back to it. But if you want you can always make one of these yourself. All you need um, is kind of a tube of some sort. Uh, cutting off the top of a bottle works quite well. Um, and then if you just get a couple of q-tips, um, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, put them either side and just sellotape them round. Um, make sure you don't make them too long because otherwise they will just bend and flop everywhere. Or once again, a couple of nails either side because they're quite rigid. Sell the tape it round and you'll have basically made your own one for cheap. So when you're going to make your loom bands, you need to pick out your colour scheme. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rainbow pride band. First of all you need to get your first three bands, red, orange and yellow. Now when you add your first band on, it's actually different to all of the rest of them so that basically when you are finishing it off it doesn't fall apart so the first band is really quite important uh, basically you need to put it on as a figure of eight Dun -dun -dun. so like so put it on one finger twist it and put it on another as so you're then going to put your next two bands on da -da, da -da. Ta -da. now basically you are going to only ever have three bands in use at any one time. Now I know I'm swearing when I'm doing this, I am sorry, but it is for art and it is for crafty cubs everywhere. So once you've got your three bands on there, you want to pick your bottom band and take it over your top on both sides. So pick it over on the right, pick it over on the left. You're then going to add your next band in. So just as the orange and the yellow, just put them over, straight across, no crossing over of the bands. You're then going to pick your orange over on both sides. So now we're going to get number blue. Yes, I said number blue. So as you can see, there is only three bands ever in use on your fingers at any one time. We're then going to pick the yellow over on both sides. 
and then your purple and pick over your green on both sides. And basically all you have to do is keep repeating this. You don't forget you're going to have to pull them down every so often because otherwise you're going to run out of finger space at the top of your fingers. So all you do is you just keep going adding your third band on, picking your bottom band up adding a third band on, picking your bottom band up. And I have a perfect little gift that I can give to someone if I'm feeling really cheap that day. Now I'll show you how to finish it off in a second because it's easier to show you on the dolly than it is to show you on my fingers. Yeah, now I'm just going to quickly show you again the basic principle, but this time with the dolly, just because, for me, it's easier. So once again, you get your third band, and you figure it at all. Yes, lovely. You then add two more bands. But this time, just straight across with no figure of eight. So one, do do, and two. Okay, just straight across. So the only figure of eight band you're going to do is your very first one, and then the rest you just put around your pegs. Around your pegs. Around your pegs. Now the basic principle is that you should always have three bands on your pegs or on your fingers. You then pick right, pick left, over your top bands. You then add a new third band in, and from the bottom, pick right, pick left. So you always pick left and right, but I like right and left. Add a new third band, pick right, pick left. You don't forget, every so often you're going to push these down to the bottom. So you can keep going. At this point, your band is not going to look like much purely because you've only got four joints done. Uh, it won't really start looking like anything until you've got about 12 on there. So you've now got 12 bands on here, and to put out, you can see that it's starting to look like the loom band, exactly as we're wanting it. It really is that easy. They form so easily, and it's that easy to do. Anyone can do it. If you're going to do it, you can do it. I recommend making something that looks like this so it's easier for you so that you don't have strain on your fingers. And you can just get it on board now and put it down. But it's up to you. You can just do it on your fingers if you're cheap. I would recommend making something or buying one of those things. I'll make a couple of quick. Or dollars. I don't know. Whatever. But yes, it's quite fun, it's quite therapeutic to sit down and watch TV while you're doing it. It's kind of like knitting, but with rubber bands. I quite like it. So I'm at the length that I want it to be because that will go round the average size wrist. And we have our three bands on the actual um, thingamahoosical, or in your case, on your fingers. To finish this off, what we're going to do is that we're going to take our bottom band and take it over the top as if we were normally would. Uh, and instead of putting another band on now, we're actually going to take the penultimate band and we're going to take that over the top as well. So that's bottom two over the top. So you should have one band left on your pegs or your fingers or whatever. Now what you're going to do is take one of your little S grips from before and you're going to hook it on one side and pull it off. You're then going to hook the other side through that same S clip wholeness. Ta-da! So you've got both bands through that one side of the S-clip and then you go pull it out and woohoo you have a lovely band. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find your starting band which is your doubled up one and you're going to put that through the other side of your S-clip and voila! One rainbow band and look! It's done! We have made a loom band. Congratulations, everybody. It has been done. Tim, this is for you. Uh, it will be in the post later on. Today, maybe tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. So, if you've enjoyed today's video and you've learned how to make a loom band and you're going away to make your own loom band, then press like, subscribe to the channel, uh, share the video, and me and my pants making loom bands. Uh, if not, then, oh well, hopefully you'll enjoy next week a little bit better. Or you might enjoy some of our other videos that we've made. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, guys. And I will see you next week on Wednesday. And yeah, I think that's everything. Goodbye. This video is in honour of my friend Anthony. Um, he's an amazing guy. He is the official crafty cub. Uh, and he has a YouTube channel. He used to be part of Five Awesome Bears. I basically took over his day when I was a Tuesday there on Five Awesome Bears. And he likes to make lots of crafty things and do lots of different stuff. And so I'm going to post a link to his YouTube page thing below. Um, so follow him. Go like him. He's got some awesome videos. At some point we are meant to be doing a collaboration video, but things just keep getting in the way. Um, so yes, um, follow Anthony because he is really cute, really lovely, and he makes some awesome crafty stuff that he would like to teach you.